Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mitch, and I make Uncharted 3 videos, and my goal by doing so is to try and make the Uncharted 3 community a little bit stronger and a little bit more supported. If you're underneath the age of 12 or 13 preferably, I really recommend you not watching this video because first off, I'm not even going to talk about the gameplay, and second, I'm going to be talking about things that a 12 year old can't really relate to, so this video won't really be interesting for you, and it won't really be something that you could find useful since I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay, so please leave. Anyway, for you guys that have stayed, uh, my topic for today is relationships and the importance of mutual trust on both sides. Um, so let me get started by saying that uh, recently my girlfriend, she's a very talented, beautiful girl, and uh, she's part of the state like youth symphony and. The Youth Symphony is pretty much where the most talented musicians uh, all band together and form an orchestra with a lot of talent and uh, she's a part of that and because she's part of that she was invited to perform in Bulgaria for a month and what happened was I'm very proud of her and you know her hard effort means she gets to do something as cool as that but uh, at the same time it was really crazy because uh, I would get no chance to speak with her and going a whole month without knowing what your girlfriend is up to is kind of nerve-wracking sometimes like you never really have the full idea of whether or not she's flirting or other guys are flirting with her you know and it's uh, it's all based on the idea of mutual trust and that's where my question comes in for you guys because in a relationship how even should trust be and what I mean by that is, do you think it should be like 50%, 50%, like they both should have the same amount of trust evenly and there should be a line, a sense of mutual agreement within both sides? I'm asking this because what happened was my girlfriend's really amazing and beautiful and I was like, well, if I chose to hang out with a girl, you know, just me and her, would you be concerned or anything? And she's like, no, you're a very good boyfriend and I have faith you won't do anything. You've done a lot of things right so far, so I'm not worried that you cheat on me. And I thought that was really cool because it's really relieving knowing that my girlfriend has faith that I'm not going to be doing any shenanigans or whatnot. It made me really happy. But at the same time, she was like, well... If I chose to hang out with a guy, would you be concerned? And I told her it kind of depends on the guy and it kind of depends on the situation because let me let me ask you guys, don't you think it's different to have faith in the other person depending on what sex you are? Because when it comes to cheating, if the guy wants to cheat, he has a lot more self-control about it. Like because when it comes to those kinds of things, the guy is always the one who has to start the first move and has to do the flirting. In most flirting relationships, the guy is the one who's putting in the effort to get things started and to get things working out. So, in other words, what I'm saying is, I have the option to decide whether or not there's going to be cheating going on on my part. And I decide whether that happens or not. But for the girl, it's different because... The girl receives the flirting and the cheating and all that. It's a different story because she doesn't decide whether she's going to be flirted on or not. And that's where part of my concern comes in because, you know, I have that fear that, you know, like some guys are going to be flirting with her. And that makes me concerned because that means me and her don't have a sense of mutual agreement. Like... She trusts me a lot, so that means she puts in, you know, her 50% of mutual trust. But at, I'm only putting in about, like, 30% because uh, it concerns me when she hangs out with specific guys. And I'm not the kind of guy who's like, You're not allowed to hang out with guys! You know, like, because there are a lot, well, there's not a lot, but there are a few <sighs> gems out there, I'll just put it, who, you know, are very aggressive and uh, take advantage of their girlfriend and, you know, control their whole lives and I'm not that kind of person but it is very important to note that you know I want to try and avoid that kind of like thing but at the same time I want to make sure that no guys are flirting with her as much as possible and I know it's an important thing to just accept the idea that like oh there's gonna be flirting from other people you gotta accept it you just have to get over it and stuff but what do you guys think like in reality do you think relationships are always 50 50 percent in 
mutual trust. And do you guys think I'm overdoing it? Because, like, I love my girlfriend so much. She it makes me smile a lot. And I'm very blessed to have such a beautiful girlfriend like I do. But does is it weird that I'm a little bit more close-minded than she is about something like this? Because because we're different sexes i don't know what i'm really trying to say here but it's it's very awkward to me that it appears that she's having a lot more faith than i am in her which is very weird to me because i try i want to be the best boyfriend i can but at the same time i want her to know that there are some things that just aren't going to work out in my mind <laughs> i mean like it's very very uncomfortable to have her come back from Bulgaria after a month and then hear like talking about how guys are gonna like fondle her or something or and you know that wasn't necessarily the case or like how guys are gonna like you know shove their love into her if you know what I'm saying <laughs> and you know that's where I kind of draw the line because I, I, I I'm totally okay with her spending time with other guys that's cool I'm glad that she can communicate with other guys very well and I'm glad that her main group of friends are guys but if the idea is like the conversation is about things that revolve around sex and you know those kinds of things then I'm kind of concerned because I don't want any other guy having those kinds of thoughts around my girlfriend it's I, I, I don't know am I being way too overprotective because like I said I, I, I just want the best for our relationship and the best for her and I want to just be the best boyfriend I can but at the same time I don't want to be too limiting or too freedom giving. I guess I'll put it. It's a very weird topic, and I under and I'm, I've, I apologize so much for this awkward commentary. But there's so much behind the idea of relationships that I still don't comprehend. And I would really, really, really appreciate your guys' feedback because uh, there's so much I can still learn from and. Fortunately, I have the option to use YouTube to my advantage because I'm capable of asking a large amount of people what they think about situations, fortunately, and how would they approach certain things. So uh, I, I would really like to see what you guys think about the idea of mutual agreement in relationships and the idea of flirting and, you know, how much would you limit your partner in a relationship? But anyway, guys, yeah, my video is over. So I'll check you guys later. Peace out.